Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be looking at a special tool called vibes.diy and basically with vibes you can not only, you know, create a prompt to build a landing page or like a game or some type of advanced app, but what I find particularly special with vibes is that it can generate databases, browser-based gener databases. So if I were to add these two names right here and if we can add someone else like Jerry, right, click on add. We can then go ahead and go to this data tab up here and it basically creates a database for us, right? So this is great for learning how to work with backend tools, right? So if you wanna build like your own note-taking app, for example, or some type of scheduling app, this is a great place to learn how to kind of build databases with this AI tool without using tools like Superbase. And basically, if we were to refresh this, you can see that our information stays here. So it's basically, it, it recognizes our browser. So not only does it have this cool feature, but it also has this code feature and it's just one code file. So if you work with, for example, Lovable or something like this or Bolt, you have multiple code files. Here you just have one code, code file. And the great thing about that is that you can use, you can just copy this code and import it into Lovable and basically build off of that. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to build a simple little app here and bring that into Lovable and then build off of that. So if that sounds interesting for you guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we can start off with something simple. This, by the way, is the start page. So we have vibes.diy over here, and you can see that it gives us a few remix links to start off with, or we can use one of these presets. In this case, I'm just gonna use one of these presets. I like the flashcards one, so we can go ahead and click on this. And once we click on that, we get this prompt. Let's just click on enter. And basically it generates this flashcard study app where we can then enter different topics, right? And it basically creates decks for us. We can select a deck to view its flashcards and we can have this option down here, which is basically something that we can remove, obviously, which is demo data, so solar system flashcards. Let's click on that. And we basically get a deck of six different cards. So which planet in our solar system is known as the red planet? We can click on this and then it gives us the result like this, right? Card number three, again, going like this. And we can just basically generate different topics. In this case, I'm gonna write, for example, soccer, click on generate, and then we can click over here to the soccer deck. And we basically have different cards for this soccer topic, right? Now, if I were to click on data, you can see that we have different types. So we have either a deck type or a card type. We have the created at, which is like a time indicator. And we have an answer, a deck ID, and a question for our cards. And for our decks, we have different names, right? So this is kind of, you know, the basics of building a database. And that's great that Vibes gives us this because this is like a great place to start if you are kind of new at this. Now in this case, let's go ahead and try to upload something to Lovable. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these presets. Let's go ahead and click on finance, create a personal finance calculator with student loan and compound interest formulas and retirement goal trapping. So what I'm gonna do is after this sentence, I'm gonna paste this um, sentence. It says make a version of the app that doesn't use call AI, just have data in fireproof, no fetch, all local. So basically the reason why I'm adding this is because we want to bring it into Lovable and if this app inside of Vibes has a working AI, it's gonna be quite complicated to bring this directly into Lovable. We're gonna we're gonna to want to, inside of Lovable, add this AI. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit this by clicking down here. So now we get this calculator and say that I want to import this into my landing page inside of, inside of Lovable, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this app.jsx and inside of Lovable, you wanna to head to your code viewer. You wanna go into this pages folder and into index.tsx and basically select everything, delete it, and paste in what you brought in from Vibes. We wanna do that and then click on save changes. And then we get our calculator here inside of Lovable. So that's a great, you know, easy way to kind of export this or import this into Lovable, right? We can start off with, with Vibes, um, build something advanced in vibes, have more control, 
and then bas basically import this into Lovable. And now what we can do is we can create some type of landing page off of this, right? So we have this as kind of like a like a calculator that we want to put under the hero section, and then we can add different types of sections underneath this. So we can go ahead and, and say, add a hero section above the financial calculator. The content should be about helping with student loan payments. And then we can add, keep the same design system. So let's go ahead and submit that. And as you can see, we can get some type of hero section above this financial calculator, right? And now the whole point is just to finish up this entire page. So we can add a nav bar above the hero section and then just add like, you know, a feature section, call to action section and whatnot. So we can go ahead and say, please add the rest of the landing page, including these sections under the calculator and please add a nav bar above the hero section. And basically just like that, we have our nav bar, right? And we still have the calculator right here and we have the different sections underneath, right? To complete this initial landing page. And after we have our landing page, I mean, we also have our nav bar where it says sign in and get started. We do want to, you know, have something behind this sign in button. And that's what I love about, you know, combining all these AI tools is because we can build this as kind of like a preview of our app um, inside of Vibes and bring that here into Lovable. And then in Lovable, we build out the full app. So we can build out, like, for example, a dashboard that is based on this. So we can go ahead and prompt Lovable to build something like this. And I can say, for example, build out a simple dashboard that is based on the different settings of our financial calculator and maintain the same design system. So let's go ahead and submit that. So now it's created a dashboard. And so now what we have is not only this landing page, but we can go up here and go to the dashboard. And voila, we have our FinCalc financial dashboard that is basically based on the information from our calculator that's in our homepage, right? So we have an overview of a student loan summary, investments, retirements, and so on and so forth. So yeah, and that's basically it. I also included this instructions on how to publish any Vibes app to Lovable, right? Where you just start with, with Vibes, you enter your prompt, and you basically copy this JSX file you bring it into Lovable, just like we basically did in the last several minutes. So if you want to do that as well, if you want to check that out, I'll have this in the in the description below. And yeah, go ahead and try to build some cool stuff, bring it into Lovable, build off of that. Um, that's kind of the reason why I'm showing you this tool today, because it works really well in tandem with tools like Lovable. I've done a lot of content in Lovable, so I know, you know how great that tool really is but you can build advanced stuff in tools like, like Vibes and bring this into Lovable and, and basically use Vibes to create that functionality, right? Some type of advanced little app um, that you can use and then bring it into Lovable to build off the, to build out the landing page, authentication and so on and so forth. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. It was fun doing it. Um, really cool tool, go check it, check it out. I have the link in the description below as well. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if yes, please feel free to like and subscribe that I, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.